Rock Shea, 106. Oh, here we go, Shea Nation. John Lennon, we lost him much too soon on this day back in 1980, December 8th, which is why we're outdoors in his honor on Parliament Hill, right by the Peace Tower, right by the flame as well. And around 5.30 tonight, we're going to start handing out candles. Once the sun goes down, it gets dark around here. We're going to gather around the flames. There's going to be a mass of people here. We want you to bring yourself down, bring the kids down, and really, let's promote the ideal of peace and love that John Lennon did for those years and really devoted his life to, as well as the great music he gave us. Now, let's take you back to December 8th, 1980. And this is the reason we are here braving the chill this afternoon in honor of the great man, John Lennon. To the world, especially those in North America, the news broke during a football game courtesy of Howard Cosell. Yes, we have to say it. Remember, this is just a football game. No matter who wins or loses. An unspeakable tragedy confirmed to us by ABC News in New York City. John Lennon, outside of his apartment building on the west side of New York City, the most famous, perhaps, of all of the Beatles, shot twice in the back, rushed to Roosevelt Hospital, dead on arrival. To go back to the game after that news flash, which in duty um, we have to take. Frank, indeed it is. Yeah, really. The football game became irrelevant the night Howard Cosell told millions in North America that John Lennon had been assassinated outside of the Dakota in New York City. But really, let's celebrate the life of the man around the flame. 6.20 this evening, join us with your candles, and we'll provide them to you for an on-air rendition of Give Peace a Chance. That is going to be simply wonderful. Let's continue with John. This is a brilliant piece of work. Jealous Guy on Shea 106, live from Parliament Hill. Thank you. 